Good afternoon, welcome back to another vlog. Today was our first day of endo, which is where we do root canals, and it was actually really exciting because I worked for an endodontist for a couple of years throughout college. So it was really cool to see all the steps that I used to assist for, and now I have a way better understanding of what I was doing <laughs> at the time. I successfully treated an anterior tooth today. It came out a little bit short from the apex, but wasn't too bad for my first try, I think. So yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I really like endo, I think it's really fun. I remember when I first started assisting, I had zero clue about root canals or anything related to root canals. And then the more time I spent assisting my endodontist, the more I really started to like it. And I honestly thought at one point I could become an endodontist because I just thought it was so fun. So yeah, I'm really excited that we're starting this module. Today was pretty easy, mainly because we worked on anterior teeth, so there's obviously only one canal, but I think once it gets to molars and bicuspids, it might get a little bit more tricky, so we will see how it goes. But yeah, that's basically it for the rest of my day in regards to school. I have been loving morning sessions just because I feel like I'm more productive in the morning, and then I feel like I have the rest of the day to catch up on sleep, work out, run errands. Um, I just went grocery shopping and I picked up lunch. I picked up sushi again. I'm a very predictable person and I go by a routine, if you haven't noticed. So I'm just gonna eat this for lunch and then I wanna clean in the afternoon, take a nap, and then work out. So that's my schedule for the rest of the night. And right now I am going to watch Shit's Creek, which I have been dying to watch since it came out last week, but I was holding off because I knew that once I got started, I probably wouldn't be able to stop. Now that I've got all my work out of the way, I'm gonna start it. <laughs> All right, so it has been a while since I last made kombucha and I just finished my last bottle of homemade kombucha last night. So I thought now would be a good time to feed my starter. Here she is. This is OG Mommy 2.0 because my first one fails, but also because she is the mother of all future Scobies. And yeah, right now I am going to make the sweet tea mixture. I have eight oolong tea bags. And then I am boiling water on the stove right now. The way you feed this scoby is by adding in hot tea and sugar. I believe the low pH of the tea helps to keep harmful microbes out of this starter. And then the culture feeds on the sugar to ferment. And this process takes about eight to 10 days. And then from there, that's where you add the flavorings. And then there you have it, that's kombucha. Let's get started. While I'm waiting for my kombucha sweet tea to cool, I decided I would clean my shoes. And these are honestly pretty new. I've only worn them like two or three times, but they get dirty pretty fast because they are white shoes. So I figured I would clean them now since it's better to do them sooner rather than later. Okay, here they are, slightly cleaner than before I started. Mainly just the sole, I think they're called midsoles or something, but yeah. Mainly the sides of the shoe. I also tried to clean up some of the grass stains and scuff marks, so looking pretty good. Not bad. I have been letting this sweet tea mixture sit for about an hour while I was cleaning my shoes taking my nap. I'm going to add this to my scoby jar. <gasps> I spilled. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I got most of what I could into the jar. The rest is sadly not going to make it. Oh my goodness. Oops. The preferred way to do this is using a funnel, if you have one. 
Clearly I don't, but that is okay. So I wrote today's date on here and I will check back in about a week or a little bit more than a week, around eight to 10 days, just to see that it reached the optimum pH level and then I'm ready to flavor the kombuchas. I'm gonna place this back into my pantry and now it's time to work out. For dinner today, I am going to be making spring rolls. I have my peanut sauce recipe here. This is from Toy to Bay on TikTok slash Instagram. This homemade peanut sauce is a game changer. I picked up one pound of fresh shrimp from Sprouts today. So we're gonna be making shrimp spring rolls and then I have some leftover spring mix and spinach. So I'm just gonna toss those in. Ha <laughs> ha 